So thank you so much for a great really interview. I know you've had a very busy night and a very busy year. You've got married and congratulations. And thank you've had your uh, Extreme Mountain Challenge on the telly, which was very nail biting, I would say. Um, so the first question, you've recently released a new book called Shark Seas, which focuses on your two young kind of eco-warriors. Um, this time they're out passionately protecting sea creatures and sharks away from the clan. Mm -hmm. um, so with this in mind, what kind of message do you hope that your young readers are going to get from this book? Well, it's something that I kind of, I address both in my programmes and in my, uh, my books as well. I want them primarily to be full of adventure and just thrillers, you know, people can just get involved for the ride and take nothing away at all, and I'm fine with that. Or if they take away a bit of, a bit of knowledge, a bit of information, and maybe a little bit of appreciation for the animals, even better. But there is a whole level of conservation in everything I do, and I, if only a tiny percentage of the readers or the audience really decide oh, that's something I want to get into, and it can potentially make a big difference. So that's kind of, it's, it's a sliding scale. Yeah, you know? definitely. And at the bottom, you've got people who are gonna go, right, well, shark finding clearly is ridiculous, it's gotta stop, what can I do about it? And they go and find out more. And that is the audience that I guess excites me the most. Definitely, so you don't want them to be kind of passively just taking the information. Well, no, no, they can. They, can, they absolutely can. I, I think it's really important, particularly when you're doing stuff for a younger audience, that first and foremost is full of action and that it's cool, you know? Yeah. I, I think otherwise you just end up speaking to an audience that already agrees with everything that you think. If I just went out and made pure conservation programmes, there would be a real risk. The only people that would watch them would be conservationists. So if you make something which essentially looks like a James Bond film, and then at the end you go, oh, by the way, the animals you're looking at, which are really cool, they're really in danger because of this. Oh, okay. Then so you stand a chance of hooking into a much bigger audience. Wow, that's fantastic. So you've done an awful lot of travelling. Um, how, I and mean, we've also done a lot of work with sharks, like I said, but how do you, what do you think the future holds for shark and marine life conservation? Because, you know, we've been to restaurants, I've been to restaurants around the world that have shark fin soup, and it's... It's like you said in your in your talk. It's a very difficult subject. How? What do you think the future holds? Well, th there's no doubt that at the moment we are strip mining our oceans. We are absolutely devastating them, and a tremendous amount of that is the fact that we just consider our oceans to be infinite. So we consider out of sight, out of mind. The big shoulders that are just taking everything from our oceans are, are far away from us, so we don't have to confront what's going on. But I also see it as a challenge. I see it as a challenge for, for us to set the right, to set the wrongs right. And I believe that you know one person who's determined, who has real will, can completely change the planet. Just like this. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. And, and, but I think that now is the time. I think we're we're facing a crucial period when over and over again there's reports. There's another report came out this morning about how many animals have disappeared from our world in the past couple of decades. If we don't address the problems now, in the next 10 years, we are going to lose everything, and particularly for our oceans. Definitely. And again, it seems like with the pangolin trade as well, it's just, it kind of, I guess it reaches a point where you go past that point of no return, and it's very difficult to bring it back. And I imagine with sharks, because, you know, it takes so long to produce some of them, and I think that can be a very difficult problem. But at the same time, culturally, it's very difficult to encourage a nation that's so kind of, enthralled in their, their love of shark fin soup to actually turn around and say no. I think, uh, particularly with sharks, I and mean, one of the reasons that, that, that sharks are such a passion of mine, first of all, I'm fascinated by them, always have been since I was a kid, but secondly, I think that the key thing that needs to be addressed is, is purely attitude. Yeah, absolutely. People, people are frightened of sharks, they see them as being a, a demonic creature, and if you readdress that and you change that attitude, and you, you have people have an appreciation for them, then all of a sudden, they want to save them, they want to die from them, yes, they want to experience absolutely. them for themselves. And that's when you get a tipping point and things change. And I am just really hoping that that can happen. All for shots. And last question really quickly. Um, what advice would you give to the younger generations of um, naturalists and filmmakers that you've, you've inspired hundreds of children this evening? What advice would you give to them if they want to follow in your footsteps? The first information, the first thing I would say is start now. 
Yeah. Because the natural world is huge, it's vast, you can never know everything about it. Study harder than you think possible. Sit up until midnight, reading your animal encyclopedias, watching wildlife films, that's what I did. Yeah. And it's the only way you're going to fill your head with everything you need to know. And then study science, because science is the way forward. And it, you know, it's a wonderful thing to get into. It doesn't have to be you know, being sat in a lab wearing a white coat, yeah. playing around with bugs and burners if you don't want it to be. It can be being out, getting your hands dirty, encountering awesome animals for a living. Um, but yeah, get involved because it's the best way to spend your life. Thank you so much. You're very Thank welcome. you very much. Really nice to meet you. Good stuff.